I'm Maria Hasabi. I'm a choreographer, performer, director, and uh, I also make installations. Um, this is Robert Stein, and I'm a performer and a dramaturg, and sometimes a choreographer. More, more. And I translate <laughs> and I write texts. There you go. You have more professions than me. We just performed Robert and Maria uh, for the first night tonight uh, at Panorama Festival in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And um, it's a work that first premiered in 2010, April 2010. And it's a collaboration between Robert and myself. Uh, I'm, based, I'm based <laughs> in New York and Robert is based in Vienna. And uh, we came together for the first time to create this work basically um, really started working on it in January 2010 or something like that. But we first met in 2006 at Impostance Festival. And we had a desire to work together, although our work is very different mm -hmm. in the beginning, when you see my work and Maria's work. So we were um, looking for a lot of different things what we could do together. And we f found this format, or this concept, or this idea, uh, at a certain time. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then we stuck to it. And I think I can only talk about myself, that I really like the rigorness of it. <coughs> that you have a, have a task or a kind of a <coughs> thing you do, and you have to do it all the time. And to straight tr truth and discover what the body is saying. Or how we are together in this space, in this task. Yeah. And how did you build this kind of conceptual layer that, that I see that, that in a way is almost about the relationship in itself of perhaps what we know about Maria, what we know about Robert, you know, it come, came to be and then there is this kind of very specific, rigorous way of relating that we witness. Uh -huh. so, so in a way, can you talk a bit how do you encounter that? From the very beginning, we wanted very much to stay as ourselves. That's why the piece is called Robert and Maria. Mm. And it's the meeting between these two people, these two artists. And we both have our own identities and interests of making work and living our lives. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what we wanted to do is, and it came through the process, it's not like we decided it first and then started making the work. We wanted to create a something that would keep us as real as possible away from uh, theatricality. Mm -hmm. So we had to create a task for ourselves or some sort of limitation that it could push us beyond who is Robert and who is Maria and who, what is our interest, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and all of our fights and all of our uh, agreements. Yeah. Um, something that the task can move you beyond identities mm -hmm. and man and woman and, you know, mm -hmm. you know animals or whatever. <laughs> hopefully it's not just one, uh, yeah. you know? So mm. Hopefully you see many Marias, many Roberts. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't mm. see us jumping up and down, but, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. but uh, there's, uh, there's, within this minimal, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, freedom or movement, that mm -hmm. there is expression that comes through that is... Mm -hmm. More than just one. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. When, we, uh, when we started, we were thinking, well, our bodies on stage or how we are on stage is already very much s says a lot. Eh? Mm -hmm. And so, and how to get that it says something and that it also stay uh, truthful and that it doesn't uh, come into a traditional man, a woman, mm -hmm. dancer, not dancer. Uh, but how can you... Yeah. Because this is not also how we relate to each other as men and women, yeah. to each other. So why yeah. should we suddenly that represent on stage in that yeah. sense? Huh? Yeah. And very, every time we do it, it's very different. Huh? Uh -huh. It's the same piece, but it's very, very different uh -huh. at the same time. Uh, and there is, of course, the you know the, 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 the task has this characteristic of the slow, uh, slowness. That, and, of course... We, uh, you know, I start empathizing also with uh, the, an emotionality that is there in many, many levels. Mm -hmm. So that then the choreography or the piece, etc., I was has these arches through 
and then you know your eyes both at the end it's almost like you're crying so it's immediately it's like there are these narratives that mm -hmm. that evoke many yeah. many things but hopefully what, we, what we're interested in is not to start from a narrative yeah yeah you know you okay, arrive, fix it, eh? okay. yeah. you arrive there things yeah. happen you know yeah. um, everything tells a story yeah and our, my, our mind makes it also. Yeah, it's there's a story <laughs> everywhere, but we don't want to come and tell yeah. you, I love Robert, Lo Robert loves me. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to make it very simplistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And how came this, uh, what, what what's kind of the interest at the beginning of working? You together? Know, you're together. You know, it's, uh, even if we can backtrack and say, okay, what were you expecting and then this happened? Can I say why I want <laughs> to work with Maria? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I liked a lot in the work of Maria that it's very precise mm -hmm. and that the smallest uh, details uh, says a lot. I saw a piece that is smoke, still smoking <laughs> in uh, Vienna and uh, I was quite impressed by, let's say, what you could say that are daily movements sometimes mm -hmm. or very artificial and both had the same impact. Mm -hmm. That I liked uh, and it was for me not photographic and also not so much cinematographic, but something what the body does yeah. when it's very precise yeah. in its being or something. Yeah. And so, and uh, I really want to learn to be more pre uh, precise in the body. <laughs> so that was yeah. kind of, and also this kind of, um, I don't know if it's rigorous, but it's really, it's not easy. Yeah. It's, it's really challenging to, the body is at stake in the work of Maria. Yeah. Like. I wanted to work with Robert because uh, he keeps it real for me, mm. you know, and that's really difficult to find. Um, also because I'm a person that uh, I can be quite physical mm -hmm. and always when I work with limits I try to find limitations within my work because I believe in finding this really strict frame then other things can come out and we can move beyond mm -hmm. that. Uh, but I end up going when I work alone or with, a, with more typical dancers, let's say. Uh, I end up pushing for virtuosity and a, a physicality that is uh, is not virtuosic because there's 50 turns or anything like that. But I end up pushing the physical limits. Mm -hmm. And I was interested in working with Robert because I knew... I can do that. I can... <laughs> Yes, because you're going to keep it as real as it, it can be, as human as it can be, which is really my desire. It's just I end up, you know, mm -hmm. going for that. Yeah. It's, it's very funny that we first thought to and make... And that's why I want to keep on working with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, 